women should have to reveal whether they're pregnant or not during a job interview. Not my words, but the words of three out of four bosses who say it is unfair that a woman can hide the fact she's expecting and then take up to a year's maternity leave. Where do you stand on this? Well, I personally, if I went for a job, for, if I went for a job interview, I would feel deceitful if I didn't say that I was pregnant. I wouldn't feel comfortable. I would feel mortified when I would have to get to the point where I'd have to tell my boss, well, actually, I didn't tell you, but I'm six months pregnant, and in two months, I'm going to have to go off and take maternity leave. Yeah. Um, so, personally, I wouldn't do it. Um, in terms of on the side of the business side, I can understand why it can be, like, incredibly inconvenient. My husband has a small, we have a small TV company, not a big organisation, mm. and every member of staff we have is critical. Anything goes wrong, even if somebody takes days off sick, which of course you have to allow, yeah. it's, it, it impacts on our business. So if we were to take somebody on and we were, you know, just, just, just being commissioned to make a programme, we took somebody on and a, a month or six weeks, two months in, they then left the job. That would leave us in a, quite a perilous yeah, state, yeah. actually. So um, I don't think we could make sh should make it law. But no, I do it's think not law. It's just a moral morally, decision, not I a legal one. I think that it's it's the right thing to do to say that you're pregnant. You you think the opposite, don't you, Janet? I profoundly disagree. Oh, it's good. none Can of I their mean? business. <laughs> Legally, you do not have to tell no. the boss. Legally, the law is on your side. You don't have to say if you're pregnant, nor should you have to. And it's entirely up to you if you do choose to tell them. Uh, and I think that there are, there are a huge number of women losing their jobs every year because they're forced out, because they're pregnant, <coughs> or they take maternity leave. That's no. a different thing. That's yeah, a different thing. Yeah, that's yeah, right. know, but when you're 50, going for a job... 54,000 women are losing their jobs every yeah. year because they've, ta they've taken time off to have children. And I think... That's a going disgrace. For a well, it is a disgrace, yeah. but going a for a job... It's a different thing to being in an interview. I know, but going for a job, I'm on the woman's side. You've only got one stab at getting a job and getting your career off the ground. Don't tell them. Don't tell right. them. All right, what so about you, a small so business? What about a small business that, no, that could I, really impact badly? I'm sorry. On my husband's business. Sorry, I'm sorry. I think that women have got every right to keep things to themselves because if you look at it the other way around, if a man goes for a job and he's divorced or separated, if he's got children by different partners, a man could quite conceivably have two children, for example, by different partners that he has to visit at weekends and during the evenings. It's and a that different could, thing. That it's could impact. Different thing. Unfortunately, there are available differences to do the job. between men and women, and that is a difference. That is just Why something that we... Why should women suffer at work? Janet, well, Janet, you, Janet, you've been a boss yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, what? Haven't you been in a situation when you look at you see loads of people they come and you you choose it takes you a long time to choose that candidate and then you choose that person and then you sign them on and two months later they say I've got to leave now oh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was pregnant I, it, it happens to me it happened to me and I accepted it because I thought well that woman's gone off let's see how she feels when she comes back what kind of job by law she has to go back to the job she was doing but her absence means that another talented person can step into her shoes and who knows I always look on it as an opportunity but it it would not impact on you. It would not impact on you financially because you were part of a big organisation. When you were mm. a boss, you were a boss at the BBC. I do know, about but small I, businesses. I know, that struggle, but you can't struggle have enough one to survive. Law, but you can't have one law for small businesses and one law. No, for no, I'm not saying that it's law. I'm talking about it on thing. the moral, on the moral side. I'm sorry, and I think you can't it's just impose. the decent thing to do. Rather like when you go for a job yeah, and you booked a holiday. Okay, we've ascertained that it's two very separate things. Whether you're going for a job interview and you and you admit it then, or whether you're in a job and you know you. You, you keep it to yourself. I have a friend at the moment who is going through this dilemma. It's actually a, a bloke. It's, it's, we were chatting about his, his wife. Mm. He's found out that, that she is uh, that she's expecting. It's great news, all very exciting. But she's putting herself forward for a promotion. And the dilemma they're having is: do, she's worked for the company for a very, very long time. Do they? Does, is she honest during the interview? But this is different because she's within the corporation. She's working, right. And I have to say, in the normal job interview situation where you're going for, for mm. a, a different company, I, I feel like you. I would, I would feel bad if I didn't say anything. But if I've been working there for a very long time, I'm with Janet. Because yeah. yeah, so you've already be proven yourself and case, your track, though, track record. I, mean, for going to, I went for a theatre job and, and, I, and I got it. 
and I didn't know that I was actually four months pregnant, nearly five months pregnant. Within that theatre job, within within months, I had to leave and they had to find somebody else. Now, I felt bad because I mm. felt morally wrong, but I didn't know. If I'd have known, Not I would have told them. Not knowing is, uh, I think, yeah, is a I would have told them had Sherry. I known. Yeah.